Hi everybody, this is Mark from Mark's Mandalas, and I would like to welcome you to part three in the series of how to prep, paint, and seal a hand-painted coffee mug. And as you can see, the coffee mug that I painted in part two, I have the link to part two in the top of the screen right now. I'm going to also put the link to part one and part two in the description below. Um, anyway, when I finished painting it, I knew I was not going to be using the oven until I uh, it was time to cure this, so once I was done painting it, I put it in the oven to dry. And I put it on a cookie sheet so that it wouldn't tilt or fall over because of the holes in the slats of the oven. So now that it is in a room temperature oven, you want to make sure it's, it's at room temperature, it hasn't been pre, no preheating. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close the door, and then I'm going to go ahead and turn the oven on 350. Let me go ahead and I'm going to zoom in up here a little bit. And I'm going to scoot that forward. Let me go ahead and close the oven. And there we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and hit bake. It's at 350 degrees. I'm going to hit start. And now I'm going to, I'm going to get a timer. And I have this timer already set. It's Let's see here, get this in the screen so you can see it. Set for one hour. And I'm gonna go ahead and start that right now. And once the timer goes off, after one hour, I'm going to turn the oven off. And it's very important that you just leave the oven door closed and let it return back to room temperature while the coffee mug is still in there. Um, if you take it out or open the door, it could cool down too quickly and could damage the coffee mug or the paint uh, on the artwork. So I'm going to go ahead and let this cure for, or you know, cure in the oven for one hour. And when I come back, I'm going to go ahead and put it on the top rack of the dishwasher so you can see how well it holds up running through a cycle in the dishwasher. Um, I do want to also um, reiterate, as I have previously, I still recommend that you hand wash the coffee mug with your artwork on there, but it should be able to withstand uh, several washings in the top rack of a dishwasher. So anyway, I'll be back in just a moment to uh, go to the next phase, which is putting it through the dishwasher. Okay, I let the coffee mug bake in the oven at 350 degrees, um, starting at room temperature um, for one hour, and then I turned the oven off and I did not open the door I, uh, I went ahead and just let it stay in there overnight, and it's the next day now. And I took it out of the cool oven, and I've set it on the top rack of the dishwasher. And I'm going to go ahead and run it through a cycle. I'm not going to bother putting any dishwashing detergent in there. I'm just running the coffee mug just by itself. And I recommend, if you do this, do not use any kind of super scrubber settings or high heat uh, drying. Uh, make sure that the, the heated drying is not on and uh, run it on as gentle a cycle as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up. I'm going to run it on a normal cycle and uh, when I come back we'll open this up and see how it looks. Okay, everybody, I've finished washing the coffee mug in the dishwasher on the top rack. I ran it on a normal wash. And let's go ahead and open up the dishwasher and see how it looks. And as you can see, let me get close up here. Everything appears to be in good working order here. I don't see any damage to the dots at all. And that's the result you should get after baking this in the oven um, as per the directions I gave you in uh, earlier part of this video. And um, like I said, you, you want to, in the early in this video, you don't want to use a pot scrubber setting or heated dry. Um, that's going to increase the chance of damaging the artwork. I still prefer hand washing it, but I did want to show that it is safe to wash on a normal or a short cycle wash on the top rack of the dishwasher. And uh, 
I hope you found this three-part series helpful, and I look forward to making some more videos for you soon. This is Mark from Mark's Mandalas. Until next time, rock on.